You know, in our industry, we talk a lot about, you, you may not remember the exchange you have with someone, but you always remember how they made you feel. And I just know with Carol, from the minute I met her, I've always been part of that circle. And honestly, that's gold to me, to be a friend of hers. I met Carol 20 years ago in, I believe, July of this year. Uh, it was my very first MPI World Education Congress. She was teaching at a chapter forum. I provided a band for the reception after, and I walked into the room, and there was this uh, lovely lady moonwalking by herself on the dance floor. And that was my first, uh, she was the very first person I met when I, when I got, got involved with MPI. Carol is witty, she is brilliant, she is straightforward, and she's passionate. She's passionate about the industry, her family, and her adorable husband, Alex. We love her. She is such a vital part of Denver. Her biggest fan club is at Visit Denver, and she is truly, truly a huge contributor to our local hospitality industry, and we just can't imagine what Denver would be like without her. I can't think of anybody else who is more deserving than her, to be honest. Um, as I say, I've known her for 30 years, and um, um, she's an incredible um, lady, and um, I can't think of anybody else who deserves it more than she does, and um, congratulations to her. I'm, I'm very happy she's inducted in the Hall of Leaders, and, and she's the perfect candidate for that, um, the way she's leading my example. Uh, if everybody would be like her, you know, this industry would be even better than, than what it is. Uh, she's the, the poster child uh, of what a leader and what a person should be um, chosen for uh, to be part of the Hall of Leaders. I think Carol belongs in the Hall of Leaders because she has been a great model of what's possible for um, meeting planners, meeting professionals. She has uh, made some, some moves in her career, so she, she had a, a, a career as an educator, and then moved into meeting planning and had a meeting planning agency, and then moved back into education as her passion. So, you know, the whole path of meeting planners is really about looking at what's next, and then uh, taking that road, and Carol has done that, and done it well, and done it always with the, uh, the uh, opportunity to serve. What's not to like? You know, Carol, um, it, it, she's, had, she's made so many contributions. She has um, been in so many different leadership positions, and when she's not in a leadership position, she leads by example. Uh, there are a handful of people in my career uh, that I can look at and say, I want to be just like them. And Carol's one of them. I know there are a number of others, but Carol, uh, to me, is just, I've, I've just always admired her servant spirit, her commitment to whatever she takes on. She's not one of those volunteers who volunteers for title or position. She's someone who volunteers for the work. The work is important to her and uh, she follows through. Carol's very deserving of this award, I think mostly because of what she's done to bring her professional, she had a life before she was in the classroom. So to bring that into the classroom and bridge that gap and, and maintain that relevance and have that real life experience that she can teach students to go out and, and to be successful in the industry, I think that's priceless. It's pretty staggering, quite, quite frankly. It means it means a lot because it comes from the people who know what I do and know what I love. Oh, I'm getting choked up now. Know what I do best and for whatever reason value that to some extent and appreciate it and recognize it. So it really means a lot. We have known each other for a very long time and I've had the pleasure of watching her journey. She's just amazing, she's full of energy, uh, she's not shy, uh, she will tell you exactly the way she thinks it should be, uh, and she's not afraid to take a stand even if she's the only one in the room uh, with that opinion. I would say that Carol was, well, the greatest professional in our business, um, very thoughtful, very intelligent, very caring person. Um, she's always there to share all the knowledge she has with everybody she works with, and that's what I really appreciate it from, and I still do appreciate from her, is that she is so welcome um, to share um, her information, and um, we love her for it. Carol, several, many years ago, when uh, she and Alex were uh, 
uh, talking about getting married, I sort of offered my uh, husband, who was a, a mail-order minister, <laughs> I said, well, my husband, Jack, can, can uh, marry you, and we both laughed about it. And then a couple months later, Carol called me, and she was living in Florida at the time, and I was in uh, San Diego. And uh, Carol said, we're heading to San Diego, and we want uh, Jack to marry us. So my husband actually did conduct the ceremony with Carol and Alex. There were five of us in the room, and it was just, it was a sweet moment. It was uh, one of those, obviously a milestone moment in Carol's life, but it was nice to be a part of that. One of the things I enjoy most is that when I first met her for the first few years, any group meal we would go to, she would whip out this gold lame bib to protect her clothing, and no one can rock a gold lame bib like Carol can. I've seen her dancing with bellboys in the middle of the hotel lobby just to, to I don't know, just because she enjoys doing that and wants to make people relax around her, and of course then everybody's eating out of her hand. And um, but I think it's clever of her to do that, but actually she enjoys it. I've had the great good fortune to work with her on various boards and volunteer positions and that. And uh, she's always very quick with a quip, but she always thinks through everything that she has. She, and she's, she's just brilliant at being the only voice in the room, courageous, I would say, to be the only one who says, well, I, whatever you guys think, but I don't agree. It's very impressive. It's always been a very impressive trait. The thing that's impressive about Carol, I think, is that she does it with such a style, with such a lovely sense of humor, and I, I, that I'm very attracted to that. But she is such a fun person that um, throughout any event, however difficult the situation is, she will always make us laugh. And, um, and I think in, in our industry that it is such a pressured industry that um, the people you're working with, especially your client, can actually make you laugh and um, your, the people surrounding you and have fun is, is, is great. She endlessly uh, worked for uh, education, for educating people, for sharing knowledge. Uh, she's a leader. Um, when she believes something should be taught uh, to people, she will put all her energy to do that. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times uh, she, she's been contributing uh, to the industry, how many people she's been impacting. Uh, it's just amazing. I think Carol's lasting contributions are uh, her willingness to to uh, move forward, to look at what's next, to not accept mediocrity, and to help other people see what's possible. I'd like to be remembered as an irrepressible, indomitable cheerleader for the meetings industry, as a generous colleague someone who was generous with her expertise and her time and her energy, as so many were generous with me, um, as someone who was never afraid to speak up and say, hey, you know, hey guys, look over here, look over here, we need, we need to be paying attention to this. Um, and as an educator, quite frankly, that's the, I mean, it's such a privilege. I think her biggest impact has been her ability to teach and educate and mentor. When I first met Carol, she was teaching at the annual conventions for MPI and uh, chapter meetings as well. But she's really transitioned that into now becoming, as she states, a marginalized academic, uh, being the chair at the Metropolitan uh, University in Denver for uh, hospitality and events. And she also did that in very short order. It was record time that she became a tenured chair. So I would have to say that it's doing the education and giving back in that way. I think her induction into the Hall of Leaders is really important to uh, Carol because it's recognition of, again, all of the work that she's done, all of the volunteer hours that she's put in for many, many years. Um, she has given tirelessly uh, to so many for so long, and so this, um, this moment is her uh, acknowledgement by, the, by her peers of the wonderful work that she's done for so long. Carol's ability to educate, to be passionate, and to really help give good advice to younger folks who are trying to work their way through 
uh, and become professionals such as Carol is. She's wonderful at mentoring and has a, the bigger vision of our industry forefront in her mind. And she has helped me and she's helped many others get to where we are in our careers. She's lots of things. She's a writer. She's published so many, so many works. 15 pages her CV of published works. You know, and as I mentioned, in teaching in different continents. But um, in the professional life that she had before she hit the classroom, you know, these things are all feathers in her hat, but her innate ability to be a teacher, to really inspire students to go out into our industry, that will be her legacy, to have had Carol Krugman as, as someone who motivated them to do great things in our world. Congratulations, Carol. I'm thrilled for you. My profound, profound thanks to, you know, all the people who were involved in this, one way or the other, you know, I joke that whoever the committee was that was making the decisions must have been on their second picture of martinis when they got to my name. But uh, for whatever reason, anyone and everyone, uh, whoever, you know, who contributed to, I guess, the, the, the person I am today, the professional I am today, um, certainly my husband, Alex, who has been my cheerleader in chief, uh, and managed to talk me out of retiring twice already. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is really an extraordinary, extraordinary honor. I still pinch myself, and uh, I just thank everyone very, very much. Mm -hmm.